start of treating the problem. Now to put your effort on doing the safest thing is to do nothing. Don't operate on the fat patient. And you'll be very safe. So surgeons who want to do the safest thing become internists. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't pasteurize uh, yourself, going to a patient to treat a problem and trying to do what is simplest for you and safest for the patient and you forgot what you went there for. Do what is effective. We the old boys were trying to do what was effective. And what I ask you young surgeons to do is look at what we did and try to make it safe. Take the do the pancreatic diversion, take the gastric bypass, do it laparoscopically so we can get the patients out of the hospital in two days. That is progress. You've taken a procedure that works and you've made an innovation of laparoscopic approach and to shorten the stay and it increased the complications. Take the procedures that work and decrease the incidence of leaks, strictures, hernias. What is happening now is plastidation, reinventing the wheel. As you saw Dr. Grev present, plication was done at my Meeting in Los Angeles in 1978, 81, we knew it did not work. Banning was promoted by Dr. Molina, and he told us 50% is going to fail, but I'm going to do the other 50%, and we have exactly the same results today. I mean, you guys just keep me making good. Those of you who want to be bioreactive surgeons, there's enough literature there to show you what works. Spend the time to do prospective studies and make it better. But if you want to do something safe, go and become an internist. Thank you for <laughs>